All right, listen, I really don't want to make waves, but I feel like I should tell you guys that I think even though we can't see them, there's like aliens or something running around in our in our houses and here here's how I've come to that conclusion. You mean to tell me when I put a down comforter inside of a duvet cover, it just it just stays there? Like like gravity in itself def just defies that whole logic, okay? So when I'm sitting there pulling the comforter, finding the corners, getting the duvet on, and then it goes on my bed and no matter how I toss and turn, the comforter never separates from the duvet? How does it not bunch up? Now you're probably asking yourself, how does this have anything to do with aliens? Because they must be here fixing our comforters inside the duvet. Loki is clearly not a fan of the fact that I'm sitting up here today and not sitting on the floor with him, but I have a, another big haul for you guys. Also, sorry that I missed posting Saturday and Sunday. I was going to do a closet try on. I'm not happy with the footage, so I'm going to be refilming that. And at this point, I still don't know if it's going to make it for Tuesday. If not, I'm going to do my entryway makeover and show you guys what I've been decorating over there. Um, and then hopefully I'll get the closet clothing try on for you guys for Saturday. It's just a whopper of a video and I should have been more prepared, honestly. But Dollar Tree haul time. I also considered splitting this, but I'm not gonna. So let's go. I found some really cute binders. So I wanted to show you guys. I feel like this was part of the summer collection, but for whatever reason, I'm just seeing it at my stores. Cause I do remember this little star print. I hauled quite a few things with this and I really liked it. But then I found this right here, which I think it would have been so cute if they would have just left it with a polka dot instead of having all that. But you could easily, well, mm, no, it, it might be hard unless you put something over this because the whole thing is like laminated. So you'd have to like cut the lamination and then recover it if like this isn't your thing. But yeah, I just kind of wish they didn't do the words. Um, I feel like that would have gone for like a, a wider range of, you know, an audience. And then here's this one. See, this one they did really plain, which I like. It's got the gray stripes and then this beautiful green spine. How cute is this? Just makes me want to organize. And then I found, oh wait, then this one. So this one's my favorite, but wish there wasn't the yay at the bottom, you know? And then the orange. So cute. But anyway, so I found those. Um, and then I did find the larger uh, two inch. Are they two inch? No, one and a half inch, which I hauled recently. Um, and, but just make sure yours doesn't look like mine. So I don't know if I did that like in transit or what, but just kind of double check your entire material. But I found this navy one. And then there was also, here it is. This beautiful, I don't know if it's like a lime green or what color you would call this. I'm not usually a fan of this color, but for some reason, like I'm here for it. This is more mint. This is more like a neon pop though, right? But that one has like more of a yellow undertone, but who cares? But anyways, so cute, love it. Um, so those are new and then I found some calendars, but these are, have like a little twist. They're for kids, which mm, I know Dollar Tree is done. Like uh, my little, who are these people? My little pony. I mean, I grew up with this. Um, I know they've done it before, but I just feel like I've never seen them like go qu quite all out with all of these options. So I thought it was really cute. You know, if you have like some type of command center or something, so we got, um, you know, Transformers. Love that. Dr. Seuss. Actually, I'm going to show you guys the back so that you can kind of see each little month at a glance. And you can just like pause the screen if you want to just see all of them. And then here is My Little Pony, which is really cute. Apple Jacks looks really adorable. And then we have Peppa Pig. 
And of course you can also craft with this as well. So if you're like really into crafting and you know, just using um, all kinds of material, you might like these for that. And then Sesame Street, which I rarely see. I mean, they have some things, especially in the baby section. And then Dr. Seuss, which is so cute. Look at that. So those seem to be new to me. It's a 16 month calendar. So I, yeah, there's that. And then I found these two, which are so awesome. They are extreme dot to dots, which I'm not typically a fan of, but if you are, I wanted you guys to know that these are at Dollar Tree. Um, so this one is the discovery of animals and kind of makes me want to do one, to be honest, just to kind of see if I will like it, but it is very extreme with the numbers. So if you're just like kind of looking for something to do, um, you might want to pick up one of these. Like that's just huge. And then they have like the regular size version. I found this one. Um, yeah, like, that's just pretty awesome. I love always going to Dollar Tree and looking at their puzzle section, their coloring books, all that stuff. So those were the new ones that I spotted on this trip. And then I found this, which at the time and still even right now, I have no idea what the heck this is. It is chalkboard crop it stickers. Here's what the label says. But it looks like just one full sheet. Are you supposed to send it through the Cricut machine? But it's chalk, so you could use chalk marker, chalk itself and write all over it. Here's what you get, these two large strips. I mean, even if you didn't need to like cut it down, this is a really good size if you wanna do any type of like farmhouse DIY. So that's pretty awesome. I feel like this could probably go through a Cricut, right? I mean, I don't own one, but if you do, let us know what you think um, with that. But I don't know what crop it stickers are. Does it just mean like crop it down to whatever you want? And that's why they give you the grid? I don't know. So I found those. Then I also found that Jot put out some new label stickers. Um, so I'll show you guys what I picked up. So they look like this. These are gonna be really fun for crafting, journaling. Those are gonna be great. Also, obviously, just probably for organization. That's probably what they're intended for. But I always look at these from like a crafting perspective. So. And these looked new. This one's giving me a lot of farmhouse vibes. So if you're gonna like redo something like, let's say your pantry, which I'm gonna be redoing soon, this would be cute to like label your bins with. It has like a little triangle shape to them. So I found those. And then I was very excited because Jot also put out the file folder labels and I found these color options. And I love this because really before this release, they only made like a variety of color within one pack. Now it's like this whole pack is orange, all green, yada, yada, yada. So I really like that they're doing this. Um, if you've never watched my book inventory log, this is what I would use that for. I love these little file folder labels for that. I'll try to find the videos. They're over on my vlog channel, I think. I know I've done like several, so I'll find a couple of videos and link them down below so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But I love these. These are just great for organization. And it says file folder label. So if you're gonna do any sort of organization in your filing cabinets or whatnot, these are a great little pickup. Even if you're like a teacher, I feel like these would be great for a bunch of like projects. So I picked up those and then I found three new booklets of sticker sheets. So if you're into crafting or if you're gonna be, or if you're starting to like shop for some like Easter baskets or even a Valentine's Day basket, which is coming soon, these are gonna be really cute for that. Um, but also if you're just into, you know, journaling or happy planner, just planner girl, whatever, um, you might wanna pick up these little books because they are so cute. And then here's this set has like a little outer space theme. I'm not gonna flip through all of them, but just to give you guys 
a general idea as I flip through all of them. And then here's this one with the llamas. Dollar Tree really likes the whole llama gig. It's not my favorite. Like whenever they do llamas or unicorns, it's cute. You know, obviously these stickers are probably intended for, for the kids, you know, but then they'll do some like really cute ones that you, I feel like would be so usable for adult planning. But I'm just not a fan of the llama and the unicorn thing, but there we go. All right, so we got that. Then I picked up some new socks for St. Patty's Day. And they are so hilarious. Look at these little dogs with their gear on. Like, what? That's so funny. And then a little gnome. I really like the gnome. I just think this whole sock is really pretty in general. And then this one, this one's kind of throwing me for a loop. So can somebody comment down below? Like, I love that this one is like that really soft material. And I'm getting like the whole Irish flag thing, but is that like an Easter egg? Oh, it's a heart. Oh, I see it now. It's kind of hard to see the heart shape. Yeah, because it's in like the white part, but it looks like eggs from far away. I was just like, wait, what? All right, it's hearts. Okay, mystery solved. So there's that. I also need to pick up some matches. I always get my matches at Dollar Tree, even though now it's $1.25. And now that means it's like 30 cents more than Walmart because Walmart's consistently like 97 cents or 98 cents for these. Um, but you know, when Dollar Tree was a dollar, it's kind of like, oh, two cents. I'm there out of convenience. So I would always get these, but now I'm kind of like, mm. so there's that struggle. God, I wish I could just give y'all a 10 minute video, but I can't, so it's always over 20 minutes. All right, so there's that. Very exciting and super adorable. Brand new too, by the way, in the tool bench aisle. That is the brand at Dollar Tree Tool Bench. They put out these little trash cans for your car. And these are all the colors that I found. What? How cute. It looks like the way that it's designed that it could fit in like your cup holder. You just push and then your little trash. Y'all, what? I mean, these would be great too, not even in the car. If you wanted to like put it in your office or just a smaller space, this is so adorable. You could even like maybe use it for some type of care package, you know, and then fill it up with goodies or, or whatnot. I don't know. If you wanted to do like a car gift basket or something, you could definitely fill it with, you know, like the, all the little car accessories that Dollar Tree sells. So. I thought those were awesome, also brand new. What do I show you next? Okay, then I found this huge tub of Glass Plus wipes. Now, I love my glass cleaner. It's um, the Glass Guru, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what it's, what, what it's called, but I love my glass cleaner. Um, so I've never really strayed away from it, but I thought, you know what, I kinda wanna see. This is good for windows, glass, mirror, and a car windshield. So I don't know, maybe I could like keep it for my car and then, you know, could maybe use it for that whenever I just kind of need to like wipe it, wipe a window down or something. So I'm going to give this a try. I'll let you guys know um, sometime soon, like what I think about that. All right, then I picked up some new hand soaps. Uh, they are the foaming. So I always love looking for those. Um, I love the liquid soaps too, but whenever it's the foaming ones, I always, like grab those immediately from Dollar Tree. So this one is in the fresh scent. I kind of thought it would be like ocean, but it's a fresh scent. And this one is a pear. So, and I love the bottles. I just think they look pretty and they kind of look comparable to, what's the brand that this looks like? Is it that Target brand method or no? I don't know, but it kind of looks like a dupe to one of the bigger brands, if you know, comment. So picked those up. All right, then this is pretty random, but I found these. I think Dollar Tree's done dental brushes before, but I did not actually get this for dental cleaning, um, for like dentures, I guess you could say. I got this because if you watch my vlog, I was cleaning my humidifier and I said, I was like, I need some type of brush that can kind of like get back in there. 
I don't know if this will do the trick, but I thought this could actually be a great little cleaning brush maybe, you know, to kind of get like those smaller little um, spaces. So I'm gonna give this a try and see how well this does as a cleaning brush for around the house. Um, I also got, where is it? I got something else in the like toothbrush aisle. I don't know, oh, here it is. I also picked up these little two pack of like to go. You're gonna see what this is for. I'm gonna do a whole video haul thing. Um, so you're gonna see that soon. I don't know, I don't think it's gonna be on this channel though. I think this is gonna be something more on my vlogs. So this is for like a little to go kit I'm gonna create. All right, it's been a long time. I used to haul novelty pens for you guys all the time. And then I finally found some new ones and they're really cute. You gotta watch out for Dollar Tree. So if you feel like you know a collector, somebody loves collecting like fun pens like this or why not, you have to keep your eyes open all the time at Dollar Tree because you never know when, when these are gonna kind of creep in. Then I found these brand new baskets at Dollar Tree and they are massive. And this is what I wanna see. This is usually what I feel like, and I've mentioned it time and time again, what I feel like Dollar Tree lacks are items that are just like in the bigger size realm. And look at these massive baskets for $1.25. They're not the bonus items. They're really cute, kind of flimsy, okay? So keep that in mind. But I feel like for a linen closet, this would be an amazing pickup. And these were the color options that I found, as it should. I feel like they should be white and black. I think they're the easiest and the best, in my opinion, for like doing any sort of organization or clear. I just feel like those are some of the best. Um, and brown too, I love that one. But these baskets are huge, like what? Yeah, so those are brand new. And then this item, I about fell down in the Dollar Tree aisle. Um, these Mockins jars, what are they called? They're just glass bottles, but if you watch all of my hauls, look, I have mine right here. I bought a set of these, six, from Amazon, and because I, I just want to have my water in glass rather than plastic, um, it's just a lot better and, and all that stuff. You know I've already talked your ear off about water here and there, so, but I mentioned when I hauled these that I wanted to get the bigger set from Amazon. And thank God I haven't ordered them because I found them at Dollar Tree. So I got three. Here's the other two, they're wrapped. But I've never been more excited in my life. Now I know Dollar Tree has carried these before, they're not new, but it's one of those things where just it takes forever to kind of see them restocked. Um, so I was just so happy to find them. And that's what I'm gonna do. I just fill them up with water through my filter and then they go in my fridge and then whenever I need water, here we go. And I've been learning that these smaller ones, I just go through them so fast. I'm having to refill them too much. So these larger ones are just going to be just a lot easier for me. And I take these wherever I go now. I know they're glass, but I do. They also make this, by the way, in like an iridescent, which was so pretty, a green and a red. That's what I saw at my stores. But I wanted just like the, the clear. So I got those. All right, then I found some adorable little bath bombs for Valentine's Day. So I'll show you guys. This one says, love bomb, strawberry scented. But I'm gonna open these up for you guys so that we can see what they look like. Oh, okay, so I don't know why I thought they were gonna be like maybe in the shape of a heart or something, but it just looks like this. So this one is a strawberry scented. Here is this one, cotton candy. Really cute little packaging, kind of reminds me of like Sephora. So this one has more of a purpley, I don't really know. So there's that. And then lavender. Oops. This one's really purple. So there's that. And then I found this set. I think there's another one, yeah. I found this little like Hershey's version. At first I actually thought it was candy, but these are Hershey Kisses bath bombs. I was like, what? Cherry. Let's see. Oh, these look like diamonds. Or I don't really know. Oh, the Hershey Kiss. What? What? Okay. 
Here, there's, there's that. This one's strawberry cream. Oh, and you can really smell these. How adorable is this? Wow, that's crazy. I've never seen these at Dollar Tree. They're they also brand new. Of Tootsie Roll. I just like that it has, it's made for Valentine's Day. So I'm imagining that all the packaging on the Tootsie Rolls are gonna be like pink and purple. So I wanna open these up too, because I just wanna see. Obviously, it show, yeah. It looks just like, so cute. Love that. Um, okay, what is next? Then I found some really pretty farmhousey type of picture frames. Look at these. Like the faux wood. This one right here, I've seen this one. I don't think this one's that new. I've seen it around for a while, but this one right here, I have not seen at my stores. This one is so gorgeous. I, y'all, go get some of these because they are stunning. All right, so I found those. Next up, um, for little girls, I found Carter's. The Carter's brand in just the four pack of headbands. And they are so cute. I mean, Carter's is just precious. I love their, their clothing for little kids. But maybe Carter's has ended up at Dollar Tree before. Um, you know my memory, but these are new. I've never seen them at Dollar Tree. And it's Carter's, so that means once it kind of goes, it goes. And you may not ever see a restock. I don't imagine that we will, to be honest. And that's it for today's haul. But out of everything, I am just the most excited for these because I spent, what, $3.75? Now I have to think about it. $3.75 for three. Um, I mean, they're pretty inexpensive anyway on Amazon, but it's still a lot cheaper. So I just get the biggest thrill when I can find things at Dollar Tree that I've been looking at at bigger stores. I'm gonna put you out of your misery. I'm gonna end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below your shopping list from this video, what you're gonna be on the hunt for. Um, I just love going through the comments and seeing what you guys say. Cause it just kind of like, I don't know. It makes me like wonder if you like some of the things that I like at Dollar Tree, but anyways, that's it. So I will see you guys tomorrow for, I don't know. I feel like it's probably gonna be the entryway to be honest. So um, I'll show you guys the entryway, the guest bath that's attached, and then this wall that I did a gallery whole thing on. So hope you guys are going to love that. So hopefully I'll see you there, bye.